ABC 10 News uh, reporter Austin Gravish has been inside this meeting monitoring both sides of the issue. Again, for the last four hours, we've been hearing people debate this on both sides, Austin. And Wale, the debate on this is passionate. This ordinance is sweeping and it would ban people from sleeping and camping in many places where we see this in San Diego, including on streets just like this one. This is from my balcony. Dramatic video showing a resident being chased by someone with a knife. This is the reality some downtown residents say they face. The police are there to ticket it, but nothing happened. This gentleman is defecating. A proposed ordinance would make it illegal for anyone to camp on public streets and parks if there are open shelter beds. The city is misrepresenting and lying to people about the fact that they have done everything they can to help these people. You've opened hardly any new shelters. The proposal by council member Stephen Whitburn is sweeping and would ban camping even if shelter beds aren't available near schools, shelters, trolley parks and in places like Balboa Park. It would also prevent people from camping along rivers. We've seen people in encampments die from hepatitis and be sickened by Shigella. We've heard too many stories of people camping on our streets being randomly attacked, stabbed to death, even set on fire. Over 100 residents voiced their support and concern for the ordinance at the city's Land Use and Housing Committee Thursday. We are frequently chased by angry homeless people carrying around weapons such as guns, machetes, knives, boards, arrows, hammers, screwdrivers, and bricks trying to scare and intimidate us. Some said the ordinance is unfair to some of San Diego's most vulnerable. Our leaders, people like you, are failing. You've decided to throw your hands up in the air and use more funds to criminalize people than to actually help them. And the one thing that is not clear in this ordinance is how exactly the city would enforce it. The next step, if it does get approved by this committee, would be for this ordinance to go to city council, where we expect many more people will have their voices heard. Reporting live downtown Austin Grabish, ABC 10 News.